Hey guys, welcome to my video. So tonight's video is about this. Um, this is a custom little build for one of my customers. Um, it has a force oscillator. This is the higher frequency one that I sell. And then it has a cap dump. Um, this one has five capacitors on it, but um, the circuit is actually new on the cap dump. And um, it uses a MOSFET driver now, so it switches really fast so you can see that over here and um, works a lot better a lot crisper um, these wires actually shake a little bit as it's firing which is pretty neat and um, so yeah this is this is um, this is just a custom build he's going to be using it to charge 12 volt batteries with different um, different power sources so um, this could pretty much go down to 4 volts and um, still pulse charge a 12 volt battery and yeah it's pretty neat so we fire it up and show you how it works so there's a little on and off switch right here um, we have a neon that lets you know um, if the output is not connected and um, yeah the diode goes here and then this just connects directly to the cap dump and then um, it has a zinger right here so right now we're running running at 18 volt zinger so it'll be discharging right around 8 and 18 and a half volts uh, MOSFET transistor and then it has a little green blinking light to notify you when it's firing so pretty neat so there you go so you see the little LED blinking and then here's our output right now and I have the power supply set for 12 volts it's using just under a half an amp 0.42 to 0.46 something around there so we're basically just a hair under six watts right now and then this is the waveform um, on the oscillator so this is the oscillator charging so as it charges the frequency gets down so it goes between 12,000 and 14,000 um, Hertz so um, 12 kilohertz to 14 kilohertz so it's a pretty fast little force oscillator and um, so what we could do is we could turn this voltage down, go down to six volts, and um, kind of see what happens here. So six volts, it still still works. We're running at 300 milliamps. So this is what's neat about these little oscillators. Um, you could use a variety of different power sources to charge a battery. Um, you could use solar. You could use crystal batteries. You could pretty much use whatever whatever gets in that criteria there so let's um, bring this back up to 12 so now what we're going to do I'm going to do a little peek at what the cap dump looks like so we're going to switch this over here and then this is going way too fast so I'm going to bring this down There we go. So, yeah. There we go. So, this is how the cap dump's going. So, it has a really, really sharp turn off period. And, uh, yeah. Pretty neat. So, these are 10 volts per square. So, it's turning off right around. 14 volts and kicking off at um, 20 volts right around there so, so yeah when this fires it actually makes a little tick and these wires vibrate a little bit every time it fires so yeah pretty neat little guy and um, if you guys are interested in something like this um, you get a hold of me on my website canergy.store thanks for watching